So to create a black screen fading in and out, like for example when you're doing level transitions and things like that, um, in your HUD, just add a image to your canvas panel, um, click anchors, the bottom right one, and set all the offsets to zero so that it covers the whole thing. For Z order, you want it to be high so that it covers everything on your HUD, um, if you've got other stuff on your HUD. And you just want to go to color and opacity, drop that down to black, and now you've got a black screen. Okay, so now over here I'm just going to rename it and just call it black screen. Um, by default, I want the visibility to be hidden. Okay, so compile, save, and then down in the bottom left, animation, I'm going to type in fade in black screen to create a new animation. Double click that, uh, add a track for black screen, click add track, render opacity. Render opacity starts at zero, and then after one second, you want it to be one. Okay, compile and save. So now we've got the animation, you can watch that just like this. So that's how it's gonna look when it's fading in and out. Now, go to your event graph, um, create a custom event and call this fade in blackness. <laughs> um, and then what we wanna do is grab our animation, fade in black screen and click play animation now the playback speed plug that into the event in case you want it to be slower or faster or you know you don't even have to do that if you don't want so i might not even do that uh, playback speed can just be one so it takes one second but the play mode i think i might put into there yeah so you can have forward or you can have reverse okay so when you're fading in we're going to begin playing the animation we want to set in uh, where's my black screen? I need to drag in my black screen again. Black screen. We want to set the visibility to visible so that you can see it. Um, and I think that's all we want to do, actually. I think that might be right. So then inside your player controller or wherever you want to cue this from, you can have this happen wherever you want. In my case, I want it to happen when I open a new level. So I've got this server travel thing. Um, the way that I'm going to do this personally is I will get my HUD. I've got a function that just does this for me, but you just want to get a reference to your HUD somehow, however you want. That's what it looks like for me, if that's relevant to you. The main thing is you want is get HUD, cast your HUD, get the widget from your HUD. Um, but once I've got the widget, I'm just going to say fade in blackness <laughs> and we want it to play forward because we're fading it in and now that's going to take one second um, so you know what I will put the playback speed in here and the default can just be one and because I know that it's a one second track so if I halve the playback speed it will take two seconds quarter it, it'll take four seconds etc now uh, compile so that's going to take one second I can have a delay of one second and then what I'll do is I'll just do my usual shit so I have a loading screen thing um, I will execute my console command to server travel um, and then I reckon I can fade out like that I have no idea if this is going to work by the way but let's just see this is how I do it this is the general idea um, okay, so let's see if this actually works. If I go to my tutorial map, I'll run into a portal and see if it fades out correctly. If it doesn't, I've just wasted my time and wasted everybody else's time. Well, not entirely, because the idea is correct. Beautiful. And it didn't fade in, but that's fine. Um, what you'll need to do is when you open the new level, have it fade in once the level starts. So, but it's the same thing. You just get it to run the same fade thing, but in, re in reverse. Okay, so that's how you create fading in and out for things like level transitions.